Hope you are doing well. I have not made a video in way too long, so it's about time I do it, and I'm going to talk about my updated Nix configuration. So if you're unfamiliar, a lot of people have asked me to make uh, Zany OS a Linux distribution. I don't really want to do that for multiple reasons, but I do have Nix OS, as you can tell. I am using it, and one of the things that's really good for is reproducibility. So if you want to use exactly my system, I'll show you how in this video, and also kind of talk through some of the things about NixOS that you know I'm actually using, and all that kind of stuff. So let's just go ahead and switch on over to the desktop, and I'll show you here. I am on the Flakes page. A link to this page will be down in the description. I on NixOS, I am using Flakes. Uh, so if you want to use my configuration, what you would do is you would install NixOS, and it's just like any other distribution. We'll go over here, search NixOS, download, and search it. Then you'll find the download Nix slash NixOS. This is the package manager that you can install on pretty much anywhere um, on any system. You could install it. And then NixOS is the actual Linux distribution. You, they recommend the GNOME version, but they also have a Plasma version if you want to do that. And when you install it, you're not installing NixOS with GNOME or with Plasma. You get your choice. It is just a live environment with GNOME or Plasma. So you choose one of these. I'd recommend the GNOME one. Sometimes Plasma can cause issues. So I'd recommend going there and then... After you have it installed, you can just install Nix uh, or enable Flakes in your Nix configuration by going to your, uh, if we cd into slash etsy, Nix OS, uh, you'll have your configuration file and hardware configuration file. This home file will not exist. Um, that's extra that I had. So inside of your configuration.nix, you'll just add this right here to enable Flakes as it is a experimental feature. And then I have my GitHub repo, which I'll pop over here so you can see. It's got a uh, demo of how the desktop looks. You can see I've got Waybar up at the top. Let me kind of zoom in a little bit on the picture. You can see I've got Waybar up at the top and, you know, the... You can see how the terminals look, how applications look. I'm using Hyperland, um, if you didn't know that. I, I do really enjoy it. It's a fantastic Wayland compositor. So I explained Zany OS up here, and I do try to remind you to change the username in flake.nix, home.nix, and configuration.nix. So inside of my uh, folder here, you'll see I've got the flake.nix, the home.nix, which home is for home manager, so that manages all of you know my home files. So if I vim into it, and I've got v as a alias for vim, uh, if I go up here, I actually have all of these home files being created from this git repo. So it sim links these files over there, and it can do it with folders. As you can see, I'm doing my whole wallpapers down in here. So my Configuration now comes with multiple wallpapers that you can easily switch by doing mod shift S and then it will switch and it randomly goes through my wallpaper folder. Uh, we got a whole bunch of files being moved over into where they should go and it also sets up a few and configure some packages like, you know, set up your Git information, your cursor, GTK themes, uh, XDG directories, all that kind of good stuff goes in here. Uh, I also am now using a display manager. I'm using GDM. So uh, it also has your face uh, or the face file is set up. So if I ls config, you'll see I've got a face.jpg that gets moved to dot face in the home folder. And so you can change this image out here with, you know, your own profile picture that you'd like to use on your system and GT, uh, the GDM login manager will have it. So I've done a lot more updating and fine-tuning on the theming and stuff, but uh, for the 
desktop, I recommend using my workstation config. And all you'll have to do is copy over from that Etsy directory that we were talking about over here. Just, just move over your hardware configuration file and replace the one in my workstation folder. And then change the username if you want to. You could just keep it the same and use Zany on your system. Um, and you might also want to change the host name. It depends. You can use the same host name I use. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, but I have the steps to reproduce my system down here. You just clone the repo. As I said, replace your hardware configuration.nix with the one inside the workstation folder. Enable flakes in your default configuration.nix. Then go to the repo folder and run this command. And that's the one. Now, if you want to use the laptop configuration, make sure the hardware configuration goes in the laptop folder and then switch hashtag workstation with hashtag laptop, and you're good to go. Uh, and you'll have exactly my system with all of the programs I use, all of the scripts I use, like for my emoji selector, you'll have all of this, um, all of the wallpapers I use, you'll have everything. So uh, you'll, you'll have completely replicated my system, and you can do it in pretty much under five minutes easy. So that's the nice thing about NixOS and why I will probably continue to use it for a long time. It makes sharing my system uh, that I do very much enjoy and have spent a lot of time fine tuning and figuring out how to do stuff, makes sharing it very easy with you guys. So I like that. And also NixOS as a system is very enjoyable to use. I, I, I think it's got a lot of development features that I don't take advantage of. And that's kind of why I believe the first time I checked out NixOS, like ever, I said it was good, but I didn't really have a need for a lot of the features that it had. And so I didn't really stick on it. That being said, the reproducibility is incredible. The way that it, you can package all of your stuff inside of a folder and have that be a Git repo and, um, like, oh, it's got, NixOS has a lot of protections. So when you're, when you're using your configurations in a Git repo, it actually, uh, especially with flakes, it will not build if the Git repo is dirty. So, or, you know, it, it won't read files that are not in the Git repo. So that, keeps you from having a lot of problems uh, where you've updated your configuration settings, um, your configuration files, and you're sourcing stuff, and you forget to update your Git repo. So, you know, the next time you pull it down somewhere else, it's broken. That's it, really nice. It's, it solves a lot of problems. So I would highly recommend you give NixOS a try with the assumption that it might not be, be for you excuse me, if you're a developer, that's probably going to be the case. It, it's probably going to have a lot of features that you don't need. And it's going to be completely different than every other Linux system. You don't just install things on a terminal or through a package manager. There are simple files where you add the package name and rebuild the system and it'll have it. And that kind of mentality is really nice for being able to roll back your system when you mess something up. And I, I made a video on why I wasn't using flakes because they do add a layer of complexity to uh, your configs, but I do have multiple configurations or multiple systems that are running Nix OS on and I plan to have more. So using flakes makes sense. And I think if you get if you dive into Nix and start learning, I don't think Flakes are too overwhelming. So again, I'll have the link to the Flakes page down in the description. I do want to say thank you to all the fantastic people up on the screen who support me over on Patreon. They go over and above to help me out. And thank you guys so much. It is very, very, very much appreciated. And everybody here on the channel who likes and subscribes, does all that kind of good stuff. Thank you very much, and I hope I'll see you here before too long in another video. See ya.